Hey guys, it's Casey with Small Business Millions again, and today we're going to do a quick uh, crash course, beginner's course, on using Microsoft Excel and spreadsheets. Primarily, this is a great thing to use uh, when you start off for your accounting. Uh, spreadsheets are a really good way to keep track of your inventory, your cost of goods, your expenses, uh, your purchasing, your sales, your payroll. Uh, of course, once you get a little more advanced and your, your business grows and you get bigger, you're going to want to use... Um, you know online accounting programs such as Intuit QuickBooks which I have a video on how to use you can check that out uh, but in the meantime when you're first getting started uh, Excel and uh, spreadsheets are the best way there are a thousand YouTube videos with advanced formulas advanced you know usage of Excel I'm just gonna give you a beginner crash course to get you started get you on your way and uh, if you need any more help than that you can certainly look it up on YouTube or you can email me directly and I can help you with that uh, so when you open Microsoft Excel, I'm on a Mac. Uh, if you're using it for PC, it's pretty much the same. But right here, this very first option is an Excel workbook. Just go ahead and open that up. Um, and then you will have, let's get this set up here, a nice big spreadsheet just like this. And you can name it. You can save as. But let me show you the basic setups. Uh, all Excel spreadsheets are set up as rows and columns rows and columns labeled A through Z and one through a billion whatever you know number you need and then everywhere that they intersect A1, B1, C1, A2, A3, A4 each one of these blocks is called a cell that's how they're referred to a cell so each cell is where you'll type your information in so let's say that you own a business that buys t-shirts and prints custom t-shirt designs on them and sells them so let's say when you start your business off, you do a purchase of 100 t-shirts. So we want to name the very first row the date of purchase. So we'll just type right there in that column or in that cell, date of purchase, hit enter. And you could stretch it out by using these little midlines, make it bigger. And your date of purchase, what you typed, shows up up here and it's right there in the block. Now you can select the next block. I usually skip a line or two. I usually will start on A4, and I'll tell you guys why I do that in a second. But let's say your first date was on January 1st of 2015. And on January 1st of 2015, what did you buy? Item purchased. So the second column is going to tell us what we purchased. Stretch that out. We bought a box of 100 shirts. And then price of purchase. What did we pay for that item? So you're going to want to type that in, press enter, and let's say they were a dollar a shirt. So we paid a hundred dollars. Okay, so now you know what day you bought it, what you bought, and how much you paid. Let's say a week later on 1-8, you bought another box of a hundred because you sold all of your shirts. You paid another hundred dollars. Now, this is why I skipped some lines. Right underneath the price of purchase in this cell, Let's say I want to know the total that I've spent for the whole month or the whole year or whatever the, the time frame is, you're going to keep track of it. So what do I need to do? So I want to add it all up. It's called the sum. The sum is this blue button right here. We'll drop down the menu and choose sum. You can also do an average. You can do a maximum and minimum. Right now we're just going to do the basics. The sum. And it's going to pop up right in that thing. Now I want to sum up all my purchases. So, let's just say I wanted to do these two. I'd go one, two, and press enter. It tells me, okay? Let's say you're like, oh, I didn't mean to do that. Just click on the block, press delete, it deletes everything out of it, and enter. It's now empty. Let's say you want to add up all the purchases made in this row. So again, we'll do sum. We're going to click on the first one and hold it, and then drag all the way down. Once you drag, you let go, press enter, and it will total up everything in this column. So, let's say on 115, you decide you're going to buy a box of 200 shirts. $200, and now we're at 400. So there we go. Now, you could do the same thing for your sales. Come on over here to uh, sale date. Let's do uh, item sold and sale price. So let's say you on 1-1 one one, you sold 10 t-shirts at $5 a shirt. 
fifty dollars then you come up here select your sum and we'll add all our sale prices and that's how you total everything up so that is a great way to keep track of <clears throat> everything that you've done let's say that you want to do some expenses let's say you had expense date expense name expense amount so stretch these boxes out let's say your expense on the first was rent for your building let's say it was a thousand dollars let's total all your expenses for the month up okay let's say that you want to know your profit so then we'll just put gross profit right here and then net profit after your expenses so your gross profit is your sales minus your purchases so do our sum take our sale total minus press the minus sign otherwise it adds it our sale and we're at negative 350 now our net profit of course is our gross profit minus our expenses we're at negative 1350 for the month but hopefully we'll go through and we'll add up a ton of sales and those as those sales let's say we did a sale on one one later in the day for 50 shirts at five bucks a piece which was 250 now we're only negative 100 gross profit and negative 1100 and you can see the numbers in red are negatives your numbers in black are positive so you can see how you can manipulate this to keep track of everything that you're doing your profits your expenses your totals your sales everything right there in a quick spreadsheet so that's about as easy as it gets that's pretty quick straightforward rows columns cells how to insert stuff you can go to any box and just press delete it'll delete the whole thing you can go back and change it whatever you need to do um, other than that uh, file is for saving saving as give it a name uh, again for advanced charts tables layouts you know all that sort of stuff look it up on YouTube or email me I can help you with any of that uh, you can do uh, freeze panes where you can freeze the top row and that will never move you can see how it doesn't move if I unfreeze the top row then see it goes away so these are all cool things you can do with Excel and spreadsheets to get yourself started basic accounting uh, once you get bigger and expand and grow you're gonna want to invest in an online you know into it QuickBooks online or something of that nature but I still to this day even with QuickBooks I use spreadsheets every day just as a quick reminder to myself of what I've done where I'm at all that sort of stuff and I'll be happy to show you guys I'm not gonna save that one but I'll show you guys uh, one of my current spreadsheets and that's all it is date the store I bought it from what I bought and the price I paid a sale date what did I sell sale price gross profit my expense profit after expenses there you go as simple as that so it's pretty basic pretty easy I still do it everybody should do it make sure you use Excel if you have any questions please email me check out our social medias of course subscribe and share the video tell your friends to take a look uh, and if there's anything else we can do for you guys please by all means let us know have a good day guys it's uh, Tuesday the 20th of October 2015 and we will see you guys soon